A calorie is not simply a calorie. I think a famous philosopher said that once. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Here in the US, we struggle with dietary things, confusion about what a healthy weight is, how helpful BMIs are, what a healthy diet looks like, and how to nurture our minds and bodies. We're caught in a storm of messages about nutrition, so here's a few more in case you weren't confused enough. Conventional wisdom says weight loss is a matter of calories in versus calories out. But then science came along and said, get your conventional wisdom out of my face. We got studies and stuff. The scientific literature suggests that calories from different types of foods affect the body differently. Like calories from fructose, which increase hunger, insulin resistance, and stomach fat when compared to calories from glucose. Or calories from protein, which boosts the metabolism when compared to calories from carbs. So long story short, not all calories are created equally. And not all diets are created equally either. Hopefully that much is obvious, but what might not be is that the uber popular low fat diet has approximately 0% evidence of its effectiveness, give or take 0%. The low fat diet has repeatedly been proven not to work. The National Institutes of Health conducted the single largest and most comprehensive study on diet ever, monitoring 50,000 women for seven years. Compared to women who ate a normal, regular fat Western diet, the low fat group only weighed one pound less after all that time and they were no less likely to have heart disease. What does work a little better for health and weight loss though is a low carb diet. Carbs, delicious, bready, pasta-y goodness should be consumed in moderation. A low carb diet lowered patients' risk of heart disease by reducing blood pressure, lowering triglycerides, and raising good cholesterol. The low carb diet also helps people lose more weight, particularly men. Of course, downing a pound of bacon for breakfast so that you don't eat pancakes probably isn't the best alternative either. Another nutrition myth that I hear all the time is that egg yolks are bad for you. So I love me some egg whites, especially when they're all chewy and delicious, but it's frankly an injustice that everyone is hating on egg yolks. Yeah, they do have a bunch of cholesterol, but that's not the whole story. Egg yolks are also packed with protein and antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and magic. They're a superfood, and while they do have a lot of cholesterol, there aren't any studies that have successfully drawn the arrow from eggs heart disease. Studies published by the NIH suggest that moderate consumption of eggs can actually improve a patient's blood lipid profile. So they help raise good cholesterol and change the formation of bad cholesterol to one that's less unhealthy. So the bottom line, I think, when it comes to navigating the dietary shit show can be succinctly summed up by Mad TV's Bon Quiqui, don't get crazy. Anytime you hear, don't have any of this food or you should have tons of this food, you should be suspicious, very suspicious. Thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more D News and follow us on Twitter at D News. Bye bye.